What's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to tie the organza jig. So I call this the organza jig because it is made out of organza ribbon, which is basically a nylon ribbon. And we can make some slight alterations to this to make it a really nice body for jigs. You can find organza ribbon at pretty much any craft store. It's super cheap. As you can see, this whole roll I got was only two bucks at Hobby Lobby. So we're going to take a strip of this about six inches long and then we're going to cut about a quarter inch from the end and just cut all the way down that strip and it should look like this when you're done. Now this ribbon has both horizontal and vertical fibers to hold it together. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the edge of that and put it into our vise, just the very edge of that ribbon. Make sure it's really tight so it won't come out and we're going to remove the fibers that run parallel to the edge. To do that, we're gonna take our bodkin and just tease those out. And then once you've got them out, you can just pull them off. Now you can see that these fibers that are perpendicular to the edge will just stick straight out. They don't have any support, so they will just fly out to the side. So we're just gonna tease out these fibers Try to get all of them out so that we just have the edge and then the loose fibers. Sometimes they can get stuck so you can just tease them out in different places till you got them all. There we go, that is what it should look like. And if you want, you can take all of the fibers out. I like to leave a little bit just so it's held together well. And you can see that those are just nice frilly fibers and they'll create a really cool body for jigs. Now that we've prepared our ribbon, I'm going to take a 1 ounce jig head with a size 4 hook. I powder painted it with Protec Pink. For our thread, we're going to be using UTC Ultra Thread 70 Denier in white. We're just going to start that thread behind the head and take it down to the point of the hook. And for our tail, we're going to be using a chartreuse marabou feather. We're going to run our fingers from the stem of the feather toward the tips to straighten the fibers out. And then we're going to measure it on there to make sure the tail will be about the length of the hook. Once you got the right length, you can pinch that in on top of the hook. Give it a few tight wraps. Then you can let go and tie it up the rest of the way. And clip off the butt ends. Try to clip those as close as you can. And then clean that up with your thread. And bring the thread back down to the tail. Now we're going to take our organza ribbon we prepared and tie that in right at the tail. Make sure it's really tight so it won't come loose. If we used just that ribbon, the body wouldn't be bulky enough, so we're going to use some chenille under that to give it some bulk. So I'm going to use this Cascade Crystal Antron Chenille in powder blue. I got this from Woods and Water Outdoors. I'm just going to tie a piece of that in at the head and wrap it down to the tail. Like I said, this will create a nice bulky body underneath that organza. And we're going to start wrapping that. Just make sure you do nice tight wraps that are pressed right up against the last you want them to be packed tightly together so you don't have any gaps and that ribbon can wrap in between the chenille wraps. We're going to tie that in nice and tight at the head. Then we're going to clip off the butt end. Do any cleanup work you need to. And now we're going to take our organza ribbon and we're going to start wrapping that. You want to make sure that the frilly fibers are facing toward the back of the jig. And then we're just going to wrap in between the wraps of the chenille. And this will make those fibers really stick out. Make sure to keep constant tension. I'm not doing a great job of that right now, you can see. But just do your best. And then tie that in tightly at the head. And clip off the butt end.
All right, now we're just going to do a few more reps. Now it is time to whip finish. So give it about six tight turns for your whip finish. Pull it tight and clip the thread. And there you have it. This is the organza jig. You can see those frilly fibers give it a really cool look. It kind of looks buggy and fishy at the same time, and it makes it irresistible for those fish. You can buy this organza ribbon in all kinds of colors. Experiment with it until you find something you like, and you should catch a ton of fish. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.